This is the Mariah Report. News, pop culture, and all things Mariah Carey. Hey, welcome back. It's an all new 2022 edition of the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. Hello and welcome. We need to talk about Mariah Carey because, you know, she's always doing things. Now, she's been in hiding for a while, but she's back. We got Masterclass. We have a big, big giveaway this week. This is literally the biggest giveaway we've ever done. Uh, Yes, it's very rich. It's very rich. You're going to win a one-year subscription to Masterclass. Yes, and Mariah is a teacher over there at the Masterclass, so you can see all her episodes and all of the other great teachers over there on Masterclass because we got a lot of great folks over there that you can learn from. So You're going to be a genius. Exactly. You're going to learn. That's what we're here for, the education purposes. Yeah. Um, Also, a few changes on our end. If you're new here, don't forget to hit follow on your favorite podcast app. And we've also finally got video up on YouTube, so make sure you head over there and hit... Subscribe. Girl, you can see our faces now <laughs> as I know. we're doing this. Listen, and we're doing the best with what we got. This is what you're getting today. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So here we are, and we are excited to be back. We're excited to give away four annual memberships to all the lucky listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, it's going to come later in the show, but you have to listen for the code word of the week. Yes, and the winner is going to be notified on Monday. So no messing around here. No, because you want to watch it immediately. Yeah. So we will we will notify the winner on Monday and um, give you that uh, free membership. So stay tuned. And don't worry if you miss out because you can find out again next week how you can win. Exactly, because we got a couple, four of them to give away. So exactly. for the next four weeks, over here at the Mariah Report, honey. Masterclass month. Giving away the memberships. We love it. We love it. Yeah. Um, but of course, we have to let everyone know that Masterclass Masterclass is not a sponsor of this sweepstakes, and the Masterclass annual membership may not be exchanged for cash, credit, or combined with any other offer. Masterclass terms of use and privacy policy will apply. Don't even try it. Don't even. Don't try it. (laughs) And it applies. It all applies. (laughs) And they don't know us. That's what they said. (laughs) Exactly. So, um, but anyways, let's get into it. This is our first episode back this year, 2022. Um, but what has Mariah been up to this year? Mm. Social media things. Yeah. But dropping things. nuggets and information. A little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah. But I guess the whole top of this year, most of the Lamely has been in fantasy land. Big, big energy land. Big, big energy, fantasy, all kinds of things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The song Fantasy is doing really, really well mm-hmm. on um, R&B digital sales. Yeah. Um, it's doing really well over there. She got the remix with Lotto. Mm-hmm. So we love that. Okay, but I think we need to thank Lotto for that because uh, Big Energy has been out for about six months plus, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's been out. So that's what sort of brought back fantasy into the lexicon of people. Mm-hmm. So... You know, it's, it's a spiller effect. It, but it all sort of works. Like, do you think, okay, Big Lotto has um, the big, big energy? Mm-hmm. Wait, his name is Big Lotto or just Lotto? It's maybe both. Maybe it's both. <laughs> Call it what you will, honey. I don't know. I don't know. This is the Mariah report. <laughs> That's all I know. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know we got Mariah, Mimi, yeah. all, the, all the names. But um, so the song's been out for a while, but also Mariah's like definitely capitalizing on it because she has fantasy merchandise out now. Mm-hmm. There was a fantasy vinyl that was released. Mm-hmm. Um, the also, hot, the um, hot pink vinyl, which is yes, gorgeous. Yes. Also, Free Guy did really well in the cinema. That's one of the first yeah. like post COVID cinema releases yeah so it's fantasy has been doing well on its own but True. it definitely has been getting help from big lotto and all the big big energy because that's a bop and it's on tiktok it's oh oh it's, everyone's a tiktok oh it. which bt dub we're on tiktok too now <laughs> <laughs> All the things. I know. Like, you thought you were just going to see our faces. Now you got to see it on TikTok, TikTok too. <laughs> yes. So all of it. <laughs> we're going to learn it. Apparently, that's where everybody is now. Yes. And YouTube. Yeah. So here we are. We're in all the spaces now. Mm-hmm. We're not just on your favorite podcast app. We're also on the things. TikTok. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because stuff like fantasy comes back around. Exactly. There. Exactly. And that's where all, all the people are talking and ticking it. 
Mm-hmm. So we love that. Now, so Big Energy is out. It's doing well on the charts. The remix did pretty well. It went to number one on iTunes, which is a good indicator. Yes, it was number one for like three or four days. Yeah, that's and a long then, time. And then that Harry Styles came along. Ruined yeah. the plan. It's not my favorite song of his. But he, we like him. He's cute. He's fine. He's no Shawn Mendes. Because mm. you know Mariah's out there uh, uh, texting. texting him in the middle of the night or something. Yeah. About holidays, I mean, it's not the holiday. I know. But he's been out, um, you know, promoting his new song. Which Sean I, Mendez? Yeah, Sean Mendez. Uh-huh. And um, I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. But Again, um, this is the Mariah Report. And listen, I can only hold so much information. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been out there talking about how much Mariah's been supportive of him, and they're very friendly, and mm. they obviously have each other's number. So, like, that's cute. Sure, why not? I love that Mariah's out here with, you know, all the younger generation and people are looking up to her uh, and, you know, holding her in the high regard that they should. She's an expert in the industry. Hello, that's why she is a master class teacher. Or should we say professor? Uh Professor. Yes. Yes. We're going to get all into the uh, master class after the break. So definitely stay tuned. And of course, we are going to talk about the new version of The Roof. Mm. When I Feel the Need, featuring Miss mm-hmm. Brandy Norwood. Now, you know Brandy Norwood is my girl. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> so. don't even think about a lead vocal, Brandy. It's a backup only. Okay. Well, because here's well, the thing. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, we'll get into it later. We'll, we'll get into it later because um, I, we have not discussed, Martin and I have not discussed what our feelings are for the new version of the song. So we're going to be doing it right here. We're holding it in. Yes, absolutely. Um, but other than that, what else do we have to catch up on for the past like three months? Okay, so Big Lado is doing well. Actually, he's doing so well. I was in the comfort of my own home just the other day. Oh. Someone drove by playing it out the window. Oh, really? So it's at, literally in the streets. Oh, it definitely is. I'm yeah. telling you, the DJs are all playing it, especially here in Los Angeles. Like, it is like sort of a go-to track. Mm. You know, so I work in a, in a restaurant sometimes, mm-hmm. and... Um, it's on the playlist. Mm-hmm. And it was like a Friday night. Actually, I think it was a DJ who was playing it, not the playlist. The new and the new one? The official one or bootleg? The official one, but it wasn't the remix. It was just like the regular one. Regular l- Lotto. Yes, regular Lotto. And I had a table of um, ladies of a certain age, of an older age, maybe like maybe a little older than me, but like in my age bracket, and they were bopping out to it. The whole table. It's a bop. So it's like young, old, Mm -hmm. anywhere, Mm -hmm. across the board, everyone's loving it. So it is really good. Yeah, definitely. I was thinking it's so funny that the hero lady, after the pandemic, and we're on the verge of World War III, you think we're going to get a song, (laughs) an inspirational Mariah Carey song. We get a song about dicks. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> Although you know that's that's in the um the, that's in the uh, explicit version. Yeah, because it still insinuates it does. <laughs> well, not to me. I'm a good girl. I was like, I didn't had no idea they were talking about the BBD. You didn't know what that was? No. Oh no, I had no idea. Well, now I know. There's also um, LDE. What is that? Little Dick Energy. Oh, <laughs> okay. There was a whole, I remember there was a whole ad campaign in Australia where they were like uh, doing like an anti, you know, people would do burnouts in the street and like. Oh, you know, in the cars. In the cars. Sure. Uh-huh. They were trying to do like an anti that campaign. Okay. And the whole campaign was like people who did that had a little, um, little D uh, and, uh, and people would have motion with their pinky fingers. Oh, really? That's how, that's what was the whole campaign. Yeah, because why are people doing that anyways? LDE. Okay. Well, now I know. Yes. That's, that's what the LDE, L. LD, oh, no. LD LDs are doing. <laughs> Got yes. it. it was so, are you, I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Oh, well, you know, I only go to YouTube to stream the, the new B-B-D. lyric <laughs> video for <laughs> Big Big Energy. PVE, yes. Uh-huh. Um, okay, so we have that. It's doing well. Um, we also have uh, Mariah for her birthday. She was out there. She's in the Bahamas, I believe, or some tropical island. I'm not quite sure. Mm-hmm. But she's been celebrating and sort of like working and vacationing all at the same time. So yeah. we got an Instagram live from her. Recently, yes. Yes, in the pool. Yeah. In the gown. People love when she Having does that. Having moments. Uh-huh. It was good. And she and she was drinking the Black Irish. She was. Love the Black Irish. And we got a new video for the Black Irish, too. We did on her YouTube page yes. and on her social medias. Yeah, for, for St. Patrick's Day. Right. Have you noticed that we have the thin, strappy sandals back? 
gorgeous. We like that, right? And she's giving us a lot of leg moments in that little Black Irish video. Legs are out. Oh, she looks great. Mm-hmm. I'm loving it. Mm-hmm. I'm loving everything about it. And she had, it was a little festive party for the Black Irish. Yeah. So we love those moments. I tried to investigate the debacle. I think basically, basically what's happened is that the European um, other Black Irish has shut it down in Europe. Okay. But in America, you can still sell it. Okay, well, she's definitely still selling it. I think that's, she's that's pushing what's happening. It. Well, I mean, it should. She should. Yes. It's good. It's in the local grocery store. I at know. least here in LA it is. Yeah. So And travel size too. Oh, yes, the little mini bottles. Yeah. I haven't seen those, but. Oh, I have. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Uh, I might need to get me some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's all going well still. Absolutely. Um, okay, so she was on the Instagram live and we did get a little bit of information from her because she did say, well, number one, she sort of spilled the beans. I think we all sort of were expecting it, but she spilled the beans officially that she was going to have Brandy on the new the interpretation roof. of The Roof. Mm-hmm. And then she also said she was working on a new song. In the studio a lot. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. And finishing up lyrics and things. Yeah. So there has to be an album coming. There's got to be something coming. There's got to be. Okay, well, also, so when Big Energy came out, she jumped, oh, it was I think it was her anniversary, birthday, Mm -hmm. uh, if you're new here. (laughs) So (laughs) she was on Twitter Spaces and she mentioned, somebody had asked her about working with Dev Hines again, Blood Orange. Oh, yes. AKA Giving Me Life from Caution. Love that. She mentioned that... That we're doing something together. And I can't wait to hear it. I cannot wait either. I mean, that was a highlight of the Caution album. And I think that, I mean, well, after seeing Mariah in Masterclass and how she works in the studio, I would love to get some video footage of her and Dev Hines together mm-hmm. and the magic they are creating. Because yes. that would be spectacular. I know. Ooh. So there's things in the there, works. There are things in the works. Mm-hmm. Things in the works. Mm-hmm. Um, and we also have, I think maybe at the end of last year, we found out that Mariah is doing a, a children's book. For Christmas. For Christmas this season. Yeah. And didn't she say, I think in the Instagram live, that there was a some other uh, Christmas thing happening that she's very excited about, very excited about? Back to the pool in the Bahamas. <laughs> We, she mentioned that she, some sort of accomplishment happened and she's very excited about it. Oh, yeah. What do you think that is? Because I feel like we accomplished all the things. I'm Exactly. Because just this past uh, Christmas, it went diamond. Yeah. Which is huge. Oh, by the way, uh-huh. she did get recertified all her sales and now she's the biggest selling female artist ever. All of it, all of it. We should we should put down all those numbers so we could read them out to you. But like, they're big. Fantasy was recertified by the RIAA. Mm-hmm. A lot of the singles that were done, mm-hmm. and then I heard a word on the street that when her new album drops, who knows when that will be, they will recertify other albums, in particular her debut album which is right now certified at 9 million mm. and they'll recertify it for 10 million which will give her her third diamond album. More Allegedly. than anybody? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Interesting. Yeah. Doesn't that mean technically she's already there? They just haven't made the pluck. I mean, yeah, essentially <laughs> yes, essentially <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, but but now like with the streamings and everything like that, mm. uh, you know, Mariah needs to be recertified because none of that has have been counted before really mm-hmm. or you know very little or they pick and choose what they you know certify i don't really know how that works but well it makes sense because it's not like because of streaming well imagine a world without streaming it's not like those albums are just sitting on the shelf and people are out buying it so right. people are actually listening to it yeah on exactly. streaming now oh, so yeah oh, keep up sure. to date Oh, they're streaming. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mariah's stay streaming. They stay streaming on Mariah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, big things, I guess. Big things are coming. Um, and speaking of big things coming, we are going to take a quick splash break. And we're going to come back, talk Masterclass, talk The New Roof featuring Brandy, and our big, big giveaway. Stay tuned for the code word. Yes. Okay, we're back from the break. We are gagging to talk about Masterclass because me and Dan have not discussed it yet. Exactly. You know, sometimes when you're like lambing out, you 
instantly want to go and talk to all your lamb friends and be like, oh my God, oh my God, are you gagged? Are you gagged over all the new Mariah stuff? But mm-hmm. it's like, we're going to save it for the show. Mm-hmm. So here we are. Mm-hmm. We're going to dive right in. Masterclass 2022, Professor Mariah Carey. I know. Well, the people at Masterclass were generous enough to give us a preview of it. So we got to see the whole thing before it came out. And we were, it was torture because we wanted to tell everybody. I know. Like yeah. we, <laughs> we've we been watching it for days now, but like, and I keep rewatching and rewatching because there's so much depth of what's going on here. Mm-hmm. And she talks about so many things. And then we see her in the studio uh, with, you know, the string quartet and everything. And mm-hmm. there's just so much to take in. It's definitely okay. So I would say, just in general, so a talk around the Lamosphere has been that the price of Masterclass is a little bit expensive. I would say that if you can afford to pay the membership, you got the funds for it. It's worth the investment. Treat yourself, get it, because you are going to want to watch this for a whole year. I'm telling you, we've never seen Mariah like this before. Never, never. It was everything I wanted Mariah's world to be. Yeah, And I now officially <laughs> forgive Mariah for Mariah's world. Because exactly. this, this has erased any that, bad thoughts. She was just trying things out over there when she had the Mariah's world, honey. No, yeah. no, no. The master class is where you want to be. This is what we wanted. It is so, so good. So um, it's basically divided into, I guess you would call them maybe nine classes. Mm-hmm. Each one sort of like focuses on a different aspect. However, the overall aspect of the entire class series is Mariah re working a fan favorite song the roof the roof this so there's different elements so there's a few storylines really so she's reworking the roof throughout the whole thing as an example of the le- i guess the lessons that she's teaching uh but then she's also explaining background stories behind certain songs and certain lyrics all fan favorite moments yes she's talking about things that she never talks about before yes <laughs> it's like oh my god she's talking about you know outside or sunflowers and we're like ah uh-huh. just to hear her you sort of have more in-depth talk about that just that alone is like great mm-hmm. um but there's so much to 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 get out of this thing but i think the big thing that all the lambs are talking about and me in particular because i love brandy is the song mm-hmm. the roof the roof now this particular version of the roof is called the roof um when i feel the need when i feel the need not back in time exactly mm-hmm. exactly and it, brandy is in the song as well, but she's doing the background vocals. Right, because Brandy comes in when Mariah gives the lessons on how to layer the vocals and, mm-hmm. and background vocals. Uh, sort of like a two combination lesson, I guess, with Brandy there. Yeah, Brandy comes into the Butterfly Lounge yes. uh, in Atlanta, and Mariah goes through the entire song with her and basically you know, instructs Brandy on how to layer and harmonize with Mariah's lead vocal, which, by the way, is completely resung. Right, but here's what I like about this, about the masterclass, is that we just see Mariah and Brandy like harmonizing together and f- trying to find the notes and and try to nail what Mariah's hearing in her head. And it's so nuanced and so tiny that you would, a television executive would never say yes to that. But because <laughs> we're on digital screen streaming, no, that's what we want, and that's what I've been wanting. And you will be, yes. you'll be so fascinated watching Mariah just do little notes. Just her and Brandy alone, just and going back and forth. I mean, a lot of the time, I feel like Mariah's doing the same thing over and over again. But like, that's just my untrained ear. Mm-hmm. Like, she's hearing the nuance that like the average person would not be hearing, and that's what makes her a master at this. Right? Like her ear and like just you know her instrument, her voice is perfection. And um, she's very in tune with it. Yes. And um, and she mentioned at some point in there that she recognized her voice wasn't in a good place when she was touring and she kind of wore it out a little bit. And because of COVID, she was able to rest it. And you can really hear that it's back to its fine detail again. I mean, so she re-sings the lead vocal here yeah. on, on this new version and it's near perfection very similar to the to the one from 20 plus years ago she still sounds so perfect in that song and that's a very delicate difficult song to really hit well and she's still hitting it well i mean she even added a high note yes (laughs) i know amazing i know i know because you know that's a that's one of those those like um, really specific fan favorite songs not many people know about the roof if you're not a mariah carey fan Mm -hmm. it's a part of the the fascination with it is all the intricacies of the song. So messing with that song made me real nervous 
but I, but this was like a really nice um i want to say like a renovation to it like it just freshened it up yeah it definitely does it brings it, it you, it's so classic because she talks about using the the mob deep sample mm. and how she she just uses that classic sample but she freshens it up for today's sound mm-hmm. and it still sounds classic and strings oh that was crazy Okay, whoever those four people are, we need them all the time in the studio with Mariah on tour. We're going to need them on tour with Mariah all the time. So I hope they know what they signed up for. Yes. (laughs) Everybody was great in it. Here's the thing about the masterclass. So I am happy that I didn't cut straight to the song. I didn't hear the song first because you follow the story of the making of the resung version from top to bottom, uh, from the ground up. And it's, it was really fun to watch it get made and then finally hear it at the end. Yes, yes. So there is like this, you know, anticipation, sort of this buildup for the song to come mm-hmm. in the very last episode of yeah. the Masterclass. And it's worth the wait. It's worth it. Because episode one or two, maybe, it says um, that they're, they're just talking about the roof. And then it, a little graphic pops up saying, you can hear the final version on the final episode. As part of me was like, oh, should I just skip and hear it? I know, but right? They, but they, then then you wouldn't miss everything and you wouldn't you wouldn't see. Because here's the other thing. Brandy matches Mariah's vocal styling so well, which is obviously why Mariah picked her for this, because mm-hmm. she knew Brandy could do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you see how Brandy rises up to that level and then you hear the final version, you're like, this is masterful. Right. I think if I went straight to the finished version i wouldn't have known where brandy began and end right because she's she's just where she needs to be Uh and that's what she just adds that little extra and her little you know her little brandy isms if you will yeah and makes it just beautiful beautiful i cannot wait until or if mariah puts this on streaming because it will be on repeat Mm -hmm. it's amazing there's an extended outro to the song Mm -hmm. the intro Mm -hmm. i think when uh, so when i watched the first the last episode and you know we knew there were going to be strings in the song because mariah you know sits with the the string quartet and whatnot but i just did not expect it right there in the beginning of the song yeah and i was like i think i just i couldn't breathe i know it's everything i've always wanted i know i know i also did not take away from the original roof Exactly. It didn't ruin the experience for either one. No. They they stand alone. Yeah. High and mighty both on on in their own light. Mm-hmm. It's it's so great, but I'm telling you the strings throughout this song mm-hmm. just add such a new level for me mm-hmm. and that's what I want to hear and I'm so glad she did this. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I would have never in a million years thought brandy on the roof? Yeah. With strings? Sounds nerve-wracking. But it worked. It's it's perfect. And this just goes to show that Mariah is a master. And that's sad. That's why, they called, sad about that's, the why they, that's why they called her. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we say two thumbs up to the song. It's absolutely amazing. If you haven't gotten your master class to Oh Uh-oh. it's giveaway time. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for the giveaway. You've stuck around for it. The code word is... For this week. For this week. And you got to be quick because we're announcing the winner on Monday. Yes. But don't worry. Next week, another giveaway. We have three more after this. Four total. So the code word. Here's what you got to do. Code word is honey. Honey. Code word honey. Click the link that's in the episode description. Go enter your name, your email address, and the code word. And then we're going to put it in a randomizer. Someone is going to be picked. And they win a whole year. A whole year. You get to enjoy not just Mariah, but everyone else as well. And they have some great people on there. Even friend to the show, Misty Copeland, has a master class. So you can yes. tune into that as well. Um, Did we get but, dipped? We didn't get the year subscription. We only got the Mariah. I want to see the Misty Copeland I know. One. The Misty one is that's a whole other one. I know. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so honey, click the link below. That's how you enter this week's giveaway. And tell your friends too to sign up. Absolutely. Anybody, everybody, come on. Come one, come all. Because again, if this is a great, uh, Masterclass is just a great platform to, you know, learn and like glean from other people's, you know, mm-hmm. mastery of their skills. And they've been so good to us too. And trust us, you want to see this Mariah oh, special. for sure. Like it's a must. Mm-hmm. 
It's a must for any Mariah fan. Um, I, it was one of those moments that when I finished, okay, first of all, it took me two days because I was enjoying it so much. I, had, I was like, I don't want it to end. So I stopped. And then the second day after I finished, I was like, did I just watch that? Was that real? <laughs> well, that's See, I'm definitely the opposite. I need to watch the whole thing immediately and then I can rewatch it like 20 million times so I can really sort of start to unpack things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I could not wait. There was no way. I'd stay up till 6 a.m. Uh, just to just to watch all of that if yeah. I needed to. Well, Masterclass, if you're listening, we need, we need 10 more. Uh, please, please. <laughs> yes, I want I want Mariah to do this with another song from her all iconic... All the songs, all forever. The songs. I, know, I want to know how every and single know, song... And I want to know every aspect of it because it was so, so great to see her in her element. Yes. So, um, okay, so the very first episode actually just sort of introduces us to Mariah. Mm -hmm. And we already know who Mariah is, the biggest selling female artist. All those things. All those things, everything. But um, she she lets us know in this first episode that she's going to, you know, redo the roof mm -hmm. with Brandy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she sort of tells the song, why why this song and, and you know, why how she wrote it. If you met, if you read the memoir, you kind of know the backstory of these moments. Right, exactly. So that's episode one. So it's like maybe six minutes for episode one where you just sort of like become familiar with this song, mm -hmm. Mariah's history, mm -hmm. and who she is and why she's qualified to be the masterclass professor. Also, just think about the masterclass audience that are not us. <laughs> they wouldn't need yeah. to. Who's this, who's this lady? Well, let's just say this right off the bat from the get-go. You press play on episode or lesson one. The pr production? 10 out of 10. Flawless. Yeah. Flawless. So good. Everything. The B-roll footage, yeah. all the clips that they use from Mariah. Yeah. It's, I could not want more. Mm-mm. -mm. The Everything, graphics. The graphics. All of it. Yeah. All of it. Oh, my God. We got Mariah in, like, different settings. Really good ones. Oh, my God. She looks gorgeous. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 across the boards. <laughs> it's so great. So there's, like, a main interview section with her where she wears the black dress. Her hair is gorgeous. There's She's like, sitting. I feel like it's a very Romeo Juliet setting in in that like, like thing, sort of like um surreal Marie Antoinette esque maybe that could work as well. Yes, but is it a green screen? Is it not a green screen? We don't know. Are those all those plants real? Because if you look yeah. at the detail, like there's it's almost like there's a balcony or something, and there's a butterfly in it. We're in a garden somewhere, and it, it's just we're indoors like, but outdoors. I know you're like, what's happening? Yeah. But it's ethereal. Ethereal like Mariah is a herself. good word. Yes. <laughs> you know the Can't Take That Away photo shoot, which is in the garden? Oh, yes. The David LaChapelle. With the unicorn. Mm -hmm. We've gone inside from the garden. I didn't even make that connection, but now I do. Is that kind and of that's vibe. It. That's it. That's the vibe. <laughs> We're loving it. So she's giving us all these great looks. And this is that's episode one. I think some of my favorite hair as well in a while. Oh, the hair looks great. Yeah. In all of the settings. All of them. There's actually one setting. I don't know what episode it's in. It's not in one of the first ones we're going to talk about today because we're just going to do episode one, two, three um, for you guys. We're just an overall um, thing. And next week we'll, you know, do the next episodes. But she's in her pajamas, I think. And her hair is curly. Yes, but it's big. Up. And, and it's she's up. like kneeling on the couch. Yes, yeah. something like I was like that is. But we only get a few clips of that. Yeah, all the other clips are like. Um, but it's her, very big. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! I'm like, <laughs> what's going on here? I love that hair. I know, I know. Imagine Diva's live ninety eight hair, but in a bun. <laughs> that is it, and I was loving it. I was yeah. like, I want more of this. I know more of it. The wigs on wigs. Girl, give me all the wigs on the wigs. More wigs. Honey, please. <laughs> and if they're curly, better. Yeah. <laughs> Although so the wavy was really good too. Oh, no, the wavy was good. The wavy was good. And it was a good straight look too. With all Brandy, she has yeah. a good straight look. Mm -hmm. And then she also, I think she has also in her pajamas, like the, I think there was like a black and white print pajama, straight hair, but she had parts of it pulled back, like, mm. so, like subtly. So it's like... Girl, she was serving the looks. Looks, good looks. The looks. Yep. Good. The good camera was out. Oh, honey, the HD was everywhere. The good lighting. Everywhere. Super, super well done in everything. So she brings us into the butterfly room, which is in Atlanta. Well, we've been hearing about it forever. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a little bit of it from Christmas time for when Christmas comes music video. Yeah. Um, but now we, we are getting another peek inside there. And she still has the Christmas trees up. So most of this is probably done... Around then. During that Christmas holiday season. Or it's just up all year round. She probably leaves it up all year round. You know her. 
<laughs> All right. So let's move on to episode number two, which is... Producing with your voice. Mm-hmm. Now, this is when it gets gaggy. I know, right? Because what does that mean? It, right, exactly. Yeah. And basically, Mariah explains how she writes songs mm-hmm. and how she produces songs. And she kind of prefaces it by saying, I don't play an instrument. Mm-hmm. It's my voice. That's the instrument. Right, 100%. Now, as longtime lambs, most of us are, we know these things. Mm-hmm. You know, we've we've heard her say how, you know, back in the day, she would be working with Walter A. And they would just sit at the piano and they'd go back and forth. She'd sing something. He'd match it. So, you know, we already have an idea of that's how she's working. That's how, like, she is creating these things. Mm -hmm. But what we we see here in Masterclass, girl, we see how it works. See it in action. It's It was mind-blowing to me. Yeah. So what we have is Mariah saying, you know, she's she's, uh, sat down with Daniel Moore, who's her, you know, musical director. And she was working with The Roof. And they decided to use strings. Mm -hmm. So they got in a a quartet of strings. Mm -hmm. And then you see Mariah sort of, you know, singing little melodies. Mm -hmm. And the string instrument musicians Try to match it. it. Now Mariah's like going into her high notes. And then they do it on the violin. Yes. But it's but it's so crazy to be like, oh, no, it's a legit instrument in her throat. Really? It is. And like, you know how she would say, well, we, I want it to go like this, this. And uh-huh. then she keeps like humming it and doing it until they like get that right perfect note. Yeah. But all the, all the while, Daniel Moore is there with the piano to sort of help guide the musicians on the strings mm-hmm. to be like, oh, well, we want like the A to come to here. And then they were throwing out all those little terms. Yes. Like a staccato. We're in the lesson. And I was like, girl, I'm learning. Uh, yes <laughs> that's the whole point <laughs> so it was just it was great like i mean i could watch that for hours and hours I have. yeah uh-huh uh just fascinating again this is what we wanted just to see mariah actually make the product make the songs that exactly. we listen to on the back end um also this is the best receipt for anybody who ever wants to question her musical abilities can she sing can she not sing Mm -hmm. does she write her own songs just hit play on the masterclass exactly on your phone and then just show them this i think one of the interesting parts in here she does talk about you know her not being a a, a musician she doesn't really play pianos or or any of the instruments but she at one point did take piano lessons from like this virtuoso uh piano teacher yes and you know so she's like done that and the her and the piano teacher were going back and forth and the piano teacher told mariah oh i've never actually written a song before mm. and it's mariah you know and like and then mariah's like oh well you know i've never played the piano but i write songs all the time because really a song is coming with the melody mm-hmm. the melody is what's driving the song and that's what mariah's ultimately her, her initial creation point the way the notes are arranged exactly Uh and you know with this piano teacher she was like well why why do you do it that way because like that's not how technically you're supposed to do things Mm -hmm. and Mariah's like well luckily I was never taught the right way to do things Mm -hmm. so that's how I come up with these things she's at one point says all I want for Christmas is, is you if I was going by the standard of what musicians do that song would never have been made mm-hmm. because I just do what's in me. That gift of melody uh, is it within her. Mm-hmm. And that's what she says. And I'm just like, girl. Yeah. Magical. Well, thank God. Magical. She has the ability to get it out. Right. Imagine she didn't know how to articulate it mm-hmm. or, like, or what it was. And she just had these songs in her head. We yeah. never heard it. Well, I think also... Back in in one of these first episodes, Mariah says how, you know, growing up, her mother, who was an opera singer, she was, you know, having musicians over all the time. So Mariah was just jam sessioning with all these musicians at such a young age that she just became so familiar with how to communicate musically. Mm -hmm. And that is just, it's um, priceless Mm -hmm. because that's where you really learn and formulate how to express yourself. Mm -hmm. And people think writing a song is just pressing a couple buttons and making a beat, throwing some lyrics on there. No, absolutely not. I mean, yes, but no. (laughs) Right. And I think that's sort of where our imaginations might have ended as just observers not knowing the process to it thinking, oh, maybe you just hit these notes on the key, on the piano, and that's sort of it. 
but you really see how she finds a note and then finds like real intricate parts of the note to like hit and the way it goes up and down. But you see how much work she really puts into it and the attention to detail she puts into these songs. Absolutely, absolutely. When she was going back and forth with the violinist. I was, all, I, that was so detailed. I was getting a little frustrated. I was like, oh, this must be so annoying trying yeah. to find these notes. It's It was so wild, but I loved it. It was great. I loved all of it and yeah. I want more of it. And in in future um, uh, lessons, we even get more detailed in into the work with them. But um, that was episode number two, producing with your voice, which is basically finding the melody and expressing it. Mm-hmm. Moving to episode three. It was, you know, it's interesting, too, that she clarified what producing is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was very interesting. Yeah, because she was saying she's been producing forever, but no one really gave her the credit. Exactly. Right. But she's been producing all the time because, again, everything's coming from within her. Right. And what it is, is like giving direction and creating the vision or whatever she's hearing in her head, making that a reality, making mm-hmm. it real. Yeah. And and using your emotions as well, Mm -hmm. you know, so that's a whole nother that's a whole nother aspect of the whole masterclass. So good. (laughs) Which which we sort of get into in episode three, which is all about lyricism and writing about the realness, which we as lambs, we know that's what Mariah does. And she does always say that she writes, um, you know, with just enough generalization that it can sort of identify that other people can identify it Mm -hmm. uh identify with it Mm -hmm. um and it's not just her story however with the roof that is sort of just a straight up story that she just wrote one night when she heard that mob deep sample in the car yes and she had just experienced something yes She had to talk All the misery it. and the pain and the oh, twisted yes. desire and all of those was, things. See, that was, I think that came, was that in this episode? But she like clarified what twisted meant? I don't think it's in this episode. Was that but later? yes, because I think that's in a, a uh, maybe the background with Brandy's. Oh, maybe. But yeah, maybe. she does go into exactly how, or I think there's an episode that's actually called um, something with the emotions. Maybe. And like yeah. how, t- what twisted meant. Um, and how you express that yeah, yeah. vocally or something like that. Girl, it's good. We're it's good. To it. Yeah. it wasn't in these episodes, so I only did notes on it these episodes. Lyrics. Um, <laughs> lyricism. Okay, yeah, so she talks about writing Sunflowers for Alfred Roy oh, yes. as well. Again, another song we really don't hear Mariah ever talk about because mm-hmm. it's so close and personal for her. Mm-hmm. So yes, she sings, you know, the fantasies and the big, big energies, but sometimes things are real. There's realness here. Right. It's not about um, rhyming words. You can actually like write experiences and communicate the emotion behind them. Mm -hmm. Uh, Document, create a document of what you're feeling and experiencing. And also creating almost like a visualization. Okay. After this uh, explanation, I started thinking about The Roof, how it's a docu-song. But then other things like Outside, Close My Eyes, within the... Butterfly album, we go from documentary, The Roof, to almost a real uh, surrealism uh, kind of expression with Close My Eyes, Sailing Away in the Ocean, mm-hmm. with the Guardian Angel. Mm-hmm. Like the artistic range is there too. Yeah, or even with the Fourth of July. Yes. Outside. She also talks about outside in this episode. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It was gaggy. I mean, I want to rewatch it again right now. <laughs> like, we have to rewatch. I think we have to watch this again after this. Because, there, again, there's so much nuance. And as a fan, you're just, like, trying to take it all in at once. But yeah. really, this is something to be, like, slow cooked and simmered to really take it. It's almost like, you know, the first time we all read the the memoir, mm. The Meaning of Mariah Carey. I, I read the whole thing and then I read it five more times mm-hmm. because there was just so much in it. And we're learning so much more about Mariah. Mm-hmm. And this is just, it's, it's giving me those moments mm-hmm. where you really have to like dig deep here because there's a lot happening. Also, you know, we know Mariah's kind of notorious for dancing around questions and not revealing anything and not mm-hmm. spilling the beans. She lets you know everything in this. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with the Sunflowers yeah. uh, song and, and Outside, how those lyrics really did match what she was feeling and going through, mm-hmm. you know? And and even with the one... Because I swear, when she did Oprah back in the Charm Bracelet days, I was there live in the audience and Oprah brought up 
the song Sunflowers, which she wrote for her dad who had passed away. And Mariah got so emotional that Oprah was like, don't worry about it. We'll cut this whole segment out. Like, I didn't, I, we didn't want that to happen. Because Mariah, it's just such a raw emotion, especially back then, because it was sort of new and fresh. But she's speaking here about, you know, her sadness and her loss and all of the memories with her father. Mm-hmm. And and she really creates and paints that picture. You Like, you see it. You just see it in, in your mind. Mm-hmm. And that's, girl, nobody can do it like Mariah. She's a genius. <laughs> She's a master. <laughs> Certified. <laughs> um, but I, I will say, she did say at one point, I think it was at the end of episode three, she said, you know, music, melody, everything has saved her life. And one quote, she was always, she said, it's always really good to create, recreate, reimagine, and reinvent. Mm. And that's what she's really doing in this masterclass. She's taking these classic songs that we all know, and she's recreating, reinventing, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, like with the roof, Mm -hmm. which is going to be the proof in the pudding at the very, very final episode. But Mm -hmm. (laughs) girl, she did it. Mm-hmm. She gets an A plus for this class. A plus, A plus. Girl, I think she's gonna have to be, keep teaching. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, not enough. I need, like I said, ten more at least, minimum to it, start with. One hundred percent. I I want this for every song because it's it's for so many years we just we would always just get like the little what do they call like a sound bite about a sound song. bite or, or just she'll like pick a, like hero like she'll pick the standards mm-hmm. but here she's going in on fan favorites yeah deep cuts and she even talked about make it happen. I said, yes, ma'am, that's my song. That's that's what I'm vibing with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, again, these first three episodes and everything, it was iconic, masterful, and beautifully done. So well done. So well done. Every aspect of it was perfection. It was. You. It's worth the money. Uh, that was what I kept thinking. When, this would be worth the money. One million percent. Yeah. One million percent. Even so. if you just watch Mariah, it's worth it. Oh, you're going to have to. <laughs> yeah. You're literally going to have to. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's going to wrap it up this episode. We will be back next week with another big, big giveaway. One year membership to Masterclass. You can watch Mariah and all of the other amazing, amazing, masterful professors. A lot of good ones now. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, But thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, hit follow on your favorite podcast app. Also, subscribe on YouTube and TikTok. Here we are. And if you're a Patreon member, we are bringing back the after show right now. So make sure you come and join us over there. It's $5 a month. You support this podcast. Help us pay the bills. You get bonus content. There's more videos. There's been content all year long. Yeah, we've been gone for the first you know few months of this year, but we're always over there on Patreon, and that's where the real gossip happens. It's a fun time. Oh, there's a good crime report this week. Oh, there is? Yes, yes, Okay, yes. we got to get into it. Patreon.com slash The Mariah Report. Subscriptions are five bucks a month. Cancel anytime. Links are in the description, and so is the giveaway link. So yes. click that. Code word honey this week. Can't wait to find out who the winner is. Yes, absolutely. We will let you know next week who wins this fabulous prize, and we'll be giving away another. Thank you for listening. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by E. Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.